All right, the time has come to create our server, finally. So we have installed GraphQL Yoga and we are going now to install Yarn Global at, if you don't have it, no daemon, right? I already have it, so I don't want to install it. But no daemon is just something super simple. It just restarts your server every time you change a file, all right? So I'm going to create an index that is here. I'm going to do console log sub, all right? And I'm going to make a script. And I'm going to say uh, start, and I say no daemon, and no daemon is going to look for the main index.js file. So let's try to do it, yarn start. All right, and it says sub, as you can see here, if I do more bubble, it restarts bubble. All right, no problem. People, let's create our server. So what I told you before was, overfetching, underfetching, and sending and posting and stuff. Um, what I didn't tell you about is something called resolvers, but the best thing I can do is to show you what a resolver is, all right? But before I do this, I need to create a server. So I'm not gonna pull any kind of crazy configuration here. I just want to show you exactly what I'm gonna follow, which is this quick start, all right? That's it. And I'm going just to import from uh, GraphQL Yoga, right? Oh, I think I can't, I don't have the advanced version of Node. I can't do this. One sec. I cannot do this. I was thinking of TypeScript, I'm sorry. I wanna require GraphQL, uh, no, I'm gonna require, yes, GraphQL Yoga from I'm going to require a GraphQL Yoga. There we go. All right. But you know what, man? Fuck this. I don't like old code. Join at Babel node development. I don't care. I really don't like old code. Sorry, it's more uh, setup, but fuck it. Babel node basically lets you write very nice, like import kind of thing code on the um, Node.js, right? So here I'm going to say hello there on the find. You try to install Babel Node. This is not Babel Node. You should install Babel CLI instead. Fuck me. All right, so what we, what we need to do is to install Babel node, install it, and then you're gonna say here, no daemon, gonna execute Babel node and index.js. So I'm gonna do exec Babel node. I believe that might work. So let's do GraphQL server and save it. Let's do yarn start. See if it works, starting Babel node. Exit. Okay, almost there. Package JSON and here index.js. App crashed. Unexpected token, no problem. This means it's working. We need to configure that Babel RC. Here we can put all the configuration for Babel. Everyone is always presets, emp, and stage tree. That'll be for node, eh, but we have to install it as well. So let's install it. Uh, I'm gonna do yarn add and CLI bubble preset and preset stage three and now we save them as the development and we wait. Oh whoa, I forgot to do something. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe yes. All right, let's wait. All right, that's it. So let's test it again. Jump start. I think that's it. No? Yeah, that's it. Console log. Hello. Hello, it's working, done. All right, so start a server. A GraphQL server is the easiest thing you can imagine. 
do is create a new variable const server equals and we're gonna do new graphql server right and here we need to give it some configuration this is something that we don't have yet all right but then all we have to do server start all right and we're gonna make a callback and we're gonna say console log graphql server running on that's it that'll be whatever all right of course i need some schema and some shit don't worry about it schema will be on the next one but i just wanted to see how easy it is to start a server with graphql yoga this is what i use it graphql yoga has a lot of stuff inside a lot of configuration but you don't need to use it it's just like you need to see it sorry it's just like create react app okay the same thing oh the same thing <laughs> the same thing um but it's just it's just super super simple to start a server with this now inside of here is where the magic is going to happen and this is something we're going to talk about on the next video schema a schema imagine schema as a description of the data that you are going to give to the user or the data that you are going to get from your user something like that okay we're gonna see it in the next video because this one is too long already so see you on the next one um I, i'm sorry i thought we were we were finished with the setup but we were not we had to install baba fuck it see you guys on the next one and girls bye bye